Everybody, shut up! New Mandela effects just dropped. Shut up! We got some brand new Mandela effects. Hot off the presses! I want to find out the if we're trapped in the other reality. The Mandela reality. That's what this is, right? Let's check out some brand new Mandela effects. It's I love that, by the way. I love the idea of brand new Mandela effects. Hot off the presses. A Mandela effect is what happens when a group of people have a clear collective memory of something that apparently never happened. Many of these people remember the exact same thing with near identical details. Mandela direct. <laughs> Stick around to the very end so you don't miss a single detail. I will. Like, subscribe, let's get into it. By the way, love that CTA. Stick around to the very end so you don't miss a single detail. What a way to help watch retention. I'm gonna That's add post-credit scenes to all my videos. We should do that. So let's take a look at it. Are there any details here that you don't remember being here? Uh, no. <laughs> this is the same picture it's always been. It turns out that a lot of people online don't remember ever seeing this gold bracelet on the wrist of the screaming figure. What do you think? I, I think you made that up. The second I in 1895. Is this a real the third channel? In 1910. Am I which getting many punked? Many historians believe is a replica painting Edward made after selling the original 1893 version. Dude, actually, you know that's a genius idea, making up Mandela effects. Oh my God. Does anybody else remember Homer Simpson's hated enemy and neighbor, Ned Sanders? Everybody swears that his name was Sanders, but some people say it's always been Flanders. Oh, this is literally Graggle. This is literally just Graggle. You're right. Never mind. Yes. This is stupid. Many people believe that it's- I, and, and it sucks because that Graggle thing is not funny. I hate that Graggle meme so much. This shit's not funny. I get it. I get it. It's not funny. Wait, did I cuss? Wait, did I? Wait, what did I say? So basically, I'm going to give away one gift sub every time I curse. I do it too much. Did, did Juliet curse? No, my baby did not curse yet, but I'm scared. It's prominent, colorful, and once you notice it, you can't He got a rolly. It. It's such an eye Bro's loaded. Detail, and yet very little, if anything, has been written or discussed about this. Discussed? Not only that, these pieces have been recreated for just as long, and no one ever really seems to notice this bracelet. Yeah, why doesn't Brian Griffin have the, the gold bracelet? Or the gingerbread man from Cookie Monster? Completely the Joker? <laughs> Eye-catching golden bracelet. Alvin and the Chipmunks? I, mean, I think you made this up, and I think this is, is a this silly video. Effect? This Let next one better below. floor me. Avril Lavigne. I'm pretty sure she existed. I, I remember her songs. I, I, I remember Avril Lavigne. Do you guys remember Avril Lavigne? The Got Milk advertising campaign, which ran from 1993 to 2014, was created and used to encourage the consumption of milk in the United States of America. Uh -huh. It started as simply an ad in California. Would that... I'm so stupid. I was like, would would milk kill Superman? I feel like it would hurt him. I'm thinking of it like signs. He's definitely lactose intolerant. Yeah, milk by its nature is is very foreign, I would imagine, to like those outside of, right? People like Kelly Clarkson and Miley Cyrus. Right, but yeah. But the weirdest one is the one that apparently no one can find today. And that is the Got Milk ad with Avril Lavigne. The pop punk singer and songwriter that tons of people remember, myself included, but apparently has never existed. Wait. No, he's... He, he's kind of spitting on this. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, he's actually kind of spitting on this. That actually... I... I, I kind of remember that. I, I... No, I do. She was sitting... She was sitting on... She's sitting like that, but on a speaker. No, it's like a this? And she's like... She's like this, like like this, with her tie on a speaker, with like a guitar. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. What if I Google it and it's the first image? What if, what if I look for it and it just exists? He lied the whole time. It's just right there. Cool That's it. crazy. Coney trying to make this video be entertaining. Listen, I'm serious. One. Apparently I actually remember this. And that her guitar was in the photo. But that's about yeah, oh, ah! See? Her guitar was in the photo. What did I just say? They will say they remember it. I remember it. I'm not kidding. I said speaker. I said she was sitting on the speaker with the guitar. Doesn't exist and apparently never did. No, no. This isn't what I'm thinking of. Can somebody get an AI image creator to do Avril Lavigne Got Milk ad? Solving Mandela effects with those AI image generator things would be great content. Oh my God, you're right. Coney, I got you. <laughs> there it is. Nah, well... 
Oh, some of these are horrifying. It, you know what? It did very good at getting her. Oh my god. What? Mmm, <laughs> gilk. Yum. Avril Lavigne got milk ad holding a guitar and sitting on a speaker. There's no milk in any of these. Or she never actually had a got milk ad. And all of us are somehow simply misremembering the exact same. Oh my god! It did exist. I fucking told you. There it is, plain as day. Right there with her baby bottle next to her side. Dude, it's right there. I told you it existed. I told you. There it is, as you can see. Plus one, are you... Oh my god. I believe you. I believe you. The Rock. <laughs> can you smell what The Rock is cooking? I never watched wrestling growing up, but even I had heard it No, it's, it's if so you So come smell. to find out, that isn't actually what he says. No. In fact, he never said, can you smell what The Rock is cooking? No, he doesn't. His quote is actually, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Yeah. If, not can. This might seem like a small grammatical difference, <laughs> but it fundamentally changes the meaning of the quote. Not only are there uh, multiple what? people online discussing this weird change. <laughs> Where a lot of people swear they heard can he never said that. In my research for this, I found videos saying can <laughs> in the title, but when you watch it, he says if. I even looked up his wrestling theme song to see what it says. No, he says it if. Says, if you smell what the rock is. They called. all say if. So what do you remember? It's Has if. Has it always been, if you smell what the rock is Yes, cooking? I was alive during this time. This one sucks. m &Ms. <laughs> Yeah. There was never a green m and m Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. So if you've been alive long enough, you've probably heard this slogan used before. Right. You know, now that I think about it, candy companies are notoriously good at slogans. Try to tell me what candy corresponds with what slogan. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> That's right, Skittles. What about how many licks does it take to get to the center of a- Why- why are we putting a pop quiz in the middle of the video? Is there like an eight-year-old sitting in the chair? I know that one! I know that one! <sighs> Even though so many people remember Eminem's slogan as melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Uh-huh. It was apparently always the milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Dude. <laughs> the, uh, it's- it's- <laughs> Like it doesn't even change! <laughs> From the, it says melts. This is literally the same slogan. It just adds three words. I don't know where you, like you could just cut it off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this changes things at all. Three honorable mentions before we get to number one. Think of these as quick honorable little Honorable mentions? Events. First up is how the Great Pyramids now have eight sides instead of four. What? It's a pyramid. <laughs> What is he? <laughs> That's not a Mandela effect. <laughs> Next is how Richard Simmons is not only missing his headband, but now his wristbands. <laughs> I mean, they're not here. That's true. I don't see them on him. He never wore them. Hold on. You know where I find them? Oh my God. You know, it's a bigger Mandela effect for me. I thought he had them. I thought the Richard Simmons bot had uh, had a headband. Oh my God, he didn't. Now I'm freaked out. They're just gone. What Man. happened to them? <laughs> it's just, they're gone. What happened? This channel is killing me. The Jungle Book. <laughs> These are scary. All the way back in the video, brand new Mandela Effect 7. I talked about <laughs> the Jungle Book. Wait, 7? How many of these are there? Which one are we on? I didn't realize this was a series. 23? He uploaded another one. I, 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 bro, <laughs> I had to see the Mario one. I didn't even see <laughs> The bear, Baloo, joins in wearing an interesting outfit. What outfit is the bear, Baloo, wearing during the scene? Uh, he's wearing a coconut mouth and a grass skirt. Was it a coconut beak and a yellow grass skirt? Yes! Or was it a coconut bra and a green grass skirt? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's a beak. It's a beak because he has a monkey mouth. That's the whole point. He's pretending. He's, As it is now. He's trying to act like a monkey. Beak and a yellow grass skirt. Right, yeah. This is certainly not what I remember from the Jungle Book, but. What? No, he has the monkey mouth. That's why he did that. Hey, that's just my opinion. What did you think? I think you're a moron. I don't... But now we have definitive proof that Baloo did indeed have a coconut bra and that something happened at some point to change that. What? American <laughs> animator, 
writer and comic book artist. <laughs> what are you, what are you talking about? Who took his bra? <laughs> Veteran writer Larry Clemens thought having animated characters in drag was a surefire gag. Every time the story team would come up with a wacky idea, uh -huh. Larry would always chime in and say, What if we put him in drag? That would be hilarious. Eventually, Larry managed to get his way. When Baloo the bear has his Ooh. wacky I want to be like you duet with King Louis the orangutan, we put Baloo in a coconut bra uh. and a skirt. I think we finally managed to please Larry, and perhaps he was right after all. Well, I was going to say, I feel like he misremembered, but then again, if... They're saying it's like a a bit that there they did. It. An artist that literally he would have remembered that book, more. As in, bro is just old and didn't bra, remember. I mean, so he said that remember. it was funny though. I mean, this is straight like from Like they the had an argument mouth. about it. You don't get any more accurate than a first-hand account. Right. This leaves all of us with a couple. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. I I may have been a little hasty. Where is the coconut bra? <laughs> what happened to it? If I don't know. That watched that movie <laughs> Not again. And one of the artists that worked on it. Why are there so many home, coconut bras? Where did it go? Time Bro, what the? Why is there so and many shots of this? Existence. Okay, I'm a believer. I believe in the coconut bra. I gotta see what this Mario is about. I have Welcome to see. Welcome to the latest this. brand new Mandela Effect one more. video. One more. A contestant had to solve a puzzle for a song lyric. Uh huh. Sweet dreams are made of blank. This is so he stupid. He said, "Sweet <laughs> dreams are made of these." The correct answer is apparently sweet dreams are made of this. It is. They're just the British. come from a famous 1983 Eurythmics like that. song titled Sweet Damn, Dreams. Damn, that's a Mandela effect. That's a Mandela effect. That looks like Dave Grohl. What is he doing here? Yeah. It's just an accent. And it begs bro. the question, it's... is it really as simple as everyone is misremembering the lyrics? It's... Or is this a Mandela effect? No, it's I'm curious not to hear... a Mandela effect. It's an image. So let me hear all your thoughts on this in the comments below. I don't have any all. thoughts. <laughs> Uh, what what did he mean by this? It was a good time in retrospect. Very you funny. A Spider -Man oh my god, look at that Dora. Dramatically off. It was a good that looks AI generated. Look at the Dora. Oh my god. And look at Mario. There's the Mario Mandela. That's what we were waiting for. Wahoo. Why his nose? People remember this. The colors, the taste, the look of it. But apparently, it never existed. I no don't one has found anything remember that yet at to all. prove that it actually, actually did exist either. I don't remember that. Just kidding. Here it is. I found it. I don't like this image. Why? This one's like realistic. It looks like he's made out of felt. Monkly Fox Mox. I didn't cuss. Guys, I'm not cussing. It's no, no, no. I read the term. This is Popsicle in Swedish. Yeah! Nintendo Entertainment System. I right, hell yeah, now it's time for Mario. As anyone who has ever owned the system knows, when you insert a game cartridge into the system, you have to press the cartridge down into place before pressing the power button. So true. Apparently, you don't have to press the game cartridges down to play them. And not just that, you never have. When I first heard this, I thought, what? There's no way this okay. is correct. But it seems like it is. The games were apparently playable without pressing them all the way down in the system. Is that just to like lock them in? Is that the idea that it like locks it into the spot so it doesn't like bounce? It's probably so it doesn't bounce around. It totally changes the functionality of a device people have used for over 35 it's years. It's not mind blowing. I've been digging into this topic for days and it's been really, really strange. For days? These videos are terrible. Let's see. I'm going to give you one more chance. Show me your best video. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we saw it. We saw his best video. Wait a minute, there's a Mario one. Whoa. I'm skipping, I'll skip it. Is this he's gonna say Mario said it? Fill in that blank. What goes there? Since tens of millions of people have played this, this should be an easy answer. Yeah. Many online seem to remember it as the. Some out there seem to remember it as your. But the <laughs> accurate phrase is actually, thank you Mario, but our princess is in another castle. A lot changed, I'm I mean, other side. I guess. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Use the One of these is going to blow my mind. One of these is going to blow my mind. Just wait for it. Really One of these is going to go crazy. Play video game, okay. This Mandela effect has to do with the insanely unforgettable. Oh, these are the rails. Rails along the sides. Yeah, this has to do with the rails. I heard about this. Yes or no? Does it have rails on the side of the things? It does. In 64. It has rails. It's always had rails. Version. So why would they know what's in the older version of Mario Kart? That okay. 
<laughs> it's another that was another bad one. Unfortunately, that was another bad one, but hold on. Bane? <laughs> yes or no? Uh, hmm. I I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and guess no. I think it's a no. I know you aren't going to believe me, but yes, Bane, the massive muscular monster that broke Batman's back Unbelievable. over his knee, is actually knitting throughout this entire movie. Oh my god. Unbelievable. This is the one that blew my mind. This is the one I was looking for. When does he knit? Multiple times throughout the movie. Of the Batman he knits? Prolific. Piece of trivia. That when? Where he's standing around knitting. Oh my god, he is. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was like a bomb wire. While other characters are talking or performing actions. <laughs> what? Has anyone ever noticed this before? Anyone? What is he knitting? What was he knitting the whole time? I had no idea. Okay. Um, was your mind blown? Is this going on YouTube? Was your mind blown too? I can't believe it. Comment below your favorite Mandela effect. I can't. What? Oh my God. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Could you believe what we just watched? I can't either. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. Bye. <laughs> this is stupid. This is dumb.